Welcome to this video on array lists. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video I'm going to show you the difference between arrays and array lists. An array is a fixed length list of whatever. So for example, if you say that your list is of size 4, it is of size 4, and that's it. Whereas with array lists, you can make things dynamic. You can have them bigger, smaller, move things around at will. So let me talk you through the code. The code for this is mostly borrowed from a website called javasamples.com. I'm going to start by defining an array list called our list, so that I know that it's an array list. And to show you that there's nothing in it, I'm going to print out the initial size of the R list. I can now add items to it. To add an item, I say dot add, and then whatever it is I want to add in the brackets after. So for example, here I've got R list dot add C, and then R list dot add A, and so on. Adding the C puts it in position C0. Adding the A puts it in position 1, and so on. If you want to add something in a specific position, so for example the last item here says rList.add1, A2, it'll put A2 in position 1. Well, as I'm sure you'll remember, all arrays start with 0. So position 1 is the second item. So what we'd have now is C, A2, then A, then E, and so on. So here I'm just printing out the size of the array list after the additions, so you can see how many items have been produced. Now we're going to display the whole array list. We can do this all in one line, just by saying println and our list. That's quite handy. We can remove items, so we can say our list dot remove f, and that would take the item whose value was f out, or our list remove two, that would take the third item out. Now having taken out those two items, we can print out the new size of the array list after the deletions and the contents of the R list now that the deletions have been made. But there is one final little trick. You remember how difficult it was to sort an array. Using a bubble sort is fairly complicated programming. You've got to keep your wits about you. There's a shortcut. You can wrap an array list into a collections object and then sort it directly. This one line of code will save all that programming in the other video. And to show you that that's true, here's the contents of the new R list. As you can see from the item at the bottom, it's now all sorted into the correct order. We have an initial size of zero. We added seven items. After deleting two items, we had five items the five in the array list shown here, C, A2, E, B and D, and then these were sorted by the collections.sort method. 